Nampower, in 2021, embarked on the construction of its first ever fully owned and operated solar PV power station. The origin of the project is linked to the national development plans of the Namibian government, which are in line with the Harambe Prosperity Plan 2 as part of the strategic pillar Energy Supply Security, aimed to ensure secured and cost-effective energy supply for Namibia and its people. Nampawa is set on harnessing renewable energy, which aligns and supports the key objectives of the government of the Republic of Namibia. This means that the projects Nampawa embarks on are aligned with the national energy policy, national integrated resource plan, and the Harambe Prosperity Plan. It is in line with these policies and plans that the NAM Power Board of Directors in 2018 approved this project, amongst others, as part of the NAM Power Integrated Strategy and Business Plan for the period of 2020-2025. As part of, the, of its strategy, NAM Power is geared towards ensuring security of supply and a predictable tariff path that will support economic growth and maintain the company's financial sustainability through the implementation of its planned generation projects. In addition, NAMPOWER's generation and transmission project plans form part of the Ministry of Mines and Energy's National Integration Resource Plan and are aimed at ensuring that sufficient and reliable power supply is available to address the country's evolving electricity needs. In 2018, NAMPOWER embarked on crafting its new corporate strategy and business plan. As part of the strategy, it identified security of supply as one of the key pillars, with least cost supply mix as one of the goals under this pillar. Speaking to the cost of least supply energy mix, NAMPA developed several business cases for generation projects, which are submitted to the NAMPA board for approval and then later to the minister for his uh, determination. And out of these business cases, the 220 megawatt ministerial determination was birthed. The technologies that were in these business cases were solar PV, wind, biomass, HFO diesel, and CSP. And today we celebrate the completion of the Amburu PV plant as the first of these six projects to be completed. One of the core roles of NAM Power has always been to support the goals of government and embark on projects that would ensure the country's development and prosperity. The Omburu 20 megawatt PV power station is situated about 12 kilometers outside Omaruru in the Erongo region. The station consists of over 58,000 solar panels and covers a footprint of approximately 42 hectares. The land for this project was made available by the Omaruru municipality. Our role first of all was to provide land. We have to go through procedures of the council according to the local authority act. And we have also to inform our community what kind of uh, investment coming to town. First of all, we have to consult, and the community was delighted since they know that uh, in future they might benefit from the project in terms of uh, tariff reduce, and also for the national goal, since we have the challenge of uh, electricity, import from other countries and so on. So hence, the council have uh, taken a decision to resolve, to give that piece of land for the solar plantation of uh, Omburo. The Omaruru area is a prime location for power stations such as this, as it has one of the best irradiance levels in Namibia, with an estimated global horizontal irradiance in excess of 2,300 kilowatt hours per square meter per annum. In its first year of operation, it's expected to generate approximately 63,000 megawatt hours of energy, which equates to the energy consumption of 16,000 Namibian households. The project faced significant challenges during its planning and execution. There were several challenges during the planning and execution of the project. One of the challenges that we were actually defining in terms of the success of this project during the planning phase was the overcoming the introduction of the new procurement law. And of course, together with the Central Procurement Board of Namibia and the Procurement Policy Unit, Nampower had to put together a procurement package that would attract commercially viable office. Uh, so the bid went out to market in October 2019 and closed in February, 28 February 2020. We just commenced with the evaluation of the bids when of course we now know the COVID-19 pandemic became uh, a, a pandemic. And so we had to deal with that challenge during the planning phase. We had to halt the evaluation and resume evaluation a couple of months later 
and were able to award um, the, the tender to the successful contract to Hopsall and to Leaf Private Equity Joint Venture uh, sometime in July. Then, of course, during the execution of the project, the biggest challenge was how do we manage COVID-19? Um, and COVID-19 at a construction site, no one knew yet how that would play out. And we had to make sure that people coming to, to work on site were safe and healthy and, and free from the pandemic, because the last thing we wanted was that there's an outbreak of, of COVID-19 on site. The project was implemented by the joint venture of Hopsall Africa and to live private equity which are both Namibian-owned companies. The Mburu PV plant is a 100% Namibian project in terms of engineering construction. Hopsol is a Namibian company, majority owned by Namibians and to a large extent by PDN, only employed a Namibian workforce and Namibian subcontractors. We've spent over 40% on local content, which is remarkable if, if considering that the procurement of the modules, the inverter station, the tracking system itself, made up almost 60% of the total cost. We're also proud of our local consultants and specialists who assisted us in the design and construction of the PV plant. They have definitely proven to have the knowledge and the skills to design and build PV plants of this size and even bigger. The design and the workmanship of this plant is outstanding. It sets the highest standard in the country and it's definitely something to be proud of. The project involved many young professionals who were excited to have been part of this homegrown project. What excites me about the plant is Nempower has set quite a high standard with the equipment installed and the quality of the workmanship. This plant is built to be ready for battery energy storage and it is the first power plant built under the modified single bio framework. I think the expertise and the knowledge being developed at this plant really position Nampower to achieve its goal of becoming the leading electricity service company in the SADC region. Being a female engineer from a disadvantaged background, I feel honored to be part of a project of this magnitude, especially being involved in its development, its procurement, uh, construction and commissioning. So I'll forever be grateful to Nampower for such an opportunity and the experience that I've attained which I'll apply for the rest of my professional life. With the implementation of all the NAM power strategic projects aimed at ensuring security of supply, Namibia is well on its way to realizing the development goals of the country as set out in Vision 2030. NAM power is committed to guaranteeing reliable, sustainable and affordable electricity supply which propels the engines that drive this economy and powers its people. NAM power, powering the nation and beyond.